Milford Mine The Milford Mine produced high manganese content iron ore in Wolford Township, Minnesota, United States. On February 5, 1924, it was the site of the Milford Mine disaster, the worst mining accident in Minnesota history, when it was flooded by water from a nearby lake, killing 41 miners. Only seven men were able to climb to safety. Starting in 2010, the site has been under development by Crow Wing County as Milford Mine Memorial Park. The property was listed as the Milford Mine Historic District on the National Register of Historic Places in 2011 for its state-level significance in the themes of industry and historical archaeology. It was nominated for its association with a significant event in Minnesota history and for potential archaeological resources that could illuminate mining technology. Background First mined for iron ore in 1917. The Milford mine reached depths of 200 feet 61m by 1924 under its owner George H. Crosby. 70,000 tons of ore were mined and shipped this same year. Manganese ore, an ingredient used to make steel, was shipped from the Milford site to Duluth then to steel factories in cities including Detroit and Cleveland. Milford Disaster Tur The disaster occurred when a surface came in at the mine's easternmost and tapped into mud that was a direct connection to Foley Lake. In less than 20 minutes the mine shaft flooded to within 15 to 20 feet 4.6 to 6.1 m of the surface. Seven men made it to ground level while 41 were overcome by the water or trapped in mud. The last victim's remains were recovered nine months later. Fifteen-year-old Frank H. Arvatin, Jr., one of the survivors, worked alongside his father Frank H. Arvatin, Isar. On February 5, H. Arvatin, Jr. was working with his senior partner Harry Hosford. When they saw the flood water, they ran for the ladder that ascended 200 feet 61, M to the surface. Miner Matt Kangas was ahead of them on the ladder. As the water rose and Kangas slowed from the effort of climbing such a distance, H. R. Vatten climbed between Kangas' legs and propelled the man up the ladder. Hosford was waist deep in water when H. R. Vatten reached down and pulled him out of the mine. They were the last three to make it out alive. Frank H. R. Vatten, S. R., was deeper in the mine and did not survive. List of miners lost in the Milford disaster. Aftermath 38 of the 41 miners who drowned were married, leaving behind more than 80 children. Recovery efforts were both delicate and dangerous, as the mine was filled with mud and debris. Further, workers worried about potential cave-ins. It took months to recover the men's bodies. The last body was removed on November 9. The mine resumed operations soon after that. Minnesota Governor J. A. O. Prius appointed a five-man committee to investigate the disaster, which held hearings in May and June. Its final report said, No blame can be attached to the mining company for this unfortunate accident. The real cause of the disaster was the fact that imminence and danger from such a rush of mud was not recognized by anyone. The mine closed in 1932 due to the decline in demand for steel during the Great Depression.